Welcome! This video will guide you through the process of converting a Viking Universal Seal Pump with packing or mechanical seal to one with an Opro Guard Seal, like those used in Viking's 1227A series pumps. The following Viking pump models may be converted to the Opro Guard Seal. Consult the appropriate technical service manual before you begin for safety information. Tools required include a set of SAE Allen wrenches, a small screwdriver or cold chisel, a soft-headed hammer, a brass or hardwood bar, hook nose spanner wrench, packing hook, box end wrenches, and feeler gauges, as well as thread sealant, o-ring lubricant, and a grease gun. The sealant, lubricant, and grease should be food grade if the pump is to be used on food products like chocolate. Parts required for conversion are all included in the Opro Guard seal kit from Viking Pump. They include the Opro Guard gland, Opro Guard sleeve, set screws, a set of O rings, a seal installation sleeve, gland nuts, washers, bolts, a grease fitting, grease relief fitting, jack bolts for easy guard seal removal as well as food grade gaskets. First, bend up the tang on the lock washer. Insert the brass bar into the top port to prevent rotation of the rotor and shaft. Use the hook nose spanner to remove the lock nut and lock washer. Remove the brass bar. Loosen the two Allen head set screws on the face of the bearing housing. Remove the bearing housing. Use a two-pin spanner wrench if needed. The Opro Guard seal kit includes replacement bearings and associated parts, but this video does not show bearing replacement. To learn bearing replacement procedures, please watch this video on the Viking Pump website. Remove the bearing spacer collar. Remove the half round rings, except on the following sizes, which do not use them. Now, remove the lock nuts and the packing gland. Remove the shaft packing rings with a packing hook, being careful not to nick the inside of the bracket bore or the shaft. If no packing hook is available, the packing can be pushed out from the bushing end by first removing the head and rotor shaft. Remove the packing retaining washer. If the pump has a mechanical seal, remove that after removing the rotor shaft. With the packing or mechanical seal removed, the pump may be reassembled with the Opro Guard seal. Install the three set screws into the sleeve. Do not over tighten to allow the sleeve to slide down the shaft. Lubricate the O-rings and Opro Guard sleeve thoroughly with O-ring lubricant or grease. Install two inner static O-rings in the sleeve grooves. Install two inner dynamic O-rings and one outer static O-ring in the grooves of the gland. Install the sleeve into the gland. The set screws on the sleeve must be on the opposite side of the outer static O-ring of the gland. Slide the seal installation sleeve, if provided, over the shaft. The LS size pump does not use one. Install the sleeve and gland assembly onto the shaft and through the bearing housing opening. The gland side with outer static o-ring must be installed onto the shaft first. Be careful not to allow the keyway or threads on the shaft to contact an o-ring. These may be taped over to ensure that o-rings aren't cut by sharp edges. Install the seal gland flush against the mounting face of the pump bracket. Remove the seal installation sleeve. Now replace the half round rings and bearing spacer collar. Replace the bearing housing. Tighten the lock nut and bend a tang from the washer into the slot to lock the bearing to the shaft. 
Now set the end clearance. Your Viking distributor can provide the correct settings. A separate video, Setting End Clearance, which provides more detail on this procedure, is available on the Viking Pump website. After setting the end clearance, tighten the bearing housing set screws and test rotation. Secure the seal gland to the bracket using the bolts, washers, and nuts provided in the seal kit rather than the hardware that was used with the packing. Tighten both nuts on the gland bolts completely. Position the sleeve so the face of the gland is flush with the edge of the groove in the sleeve. Tighten the three set screws on the sleeve evenly to ensure the sleeve is concentric and secure to the shaft. Using a thread sealant, install the grease fitting into the lowest hole of the gland. Tighten with a wrench. Now grease the gland until grease comes out of the open hole where the grease relief fitting will go. After cleaning the excess grease off the gland, use thread sealant to insert the grease relief fitting into the open hole in the gland and tighten. Regrease the gland until sufficient grease comes out of the grease relief fitting to ensure that all air has been purged. Rotating the shaft while greasing will help remove trapped air. Regular regreasing is required and discoloration of grease coming out of the relief fitting is an indication that O-rings may need to be replaced. Your pump is now ready to be reinstalled. Thank you for watching.